So in this video, I will be asking a series of questions about different organs and giving you a chance to see if you know the answer. So my questions could be identifying the organ, what system is it in, and what is the function? Now, if you go to the school that I work at and you're preparing for your AP1 first lab practical and that's how you stumbled your way to this video, I'm just going to warn you. This is less to prepare you for that specific practical and more to help you just get a general sense of the material itself. So just because you can't answer these questions doesn't mean you're in bad shape for the practical. Talk to your professor and look in your lab book if you're concerned about what specific material may or may not be on your test. What is this organ? So this is the tongue. If you hesitated because you wondered if the tongue was an organ, what's the definition of an organ? An organ is at least two tissue types, but generally four, that are arranged together and perform a common function. So because the tongue has multiple tissue types and is performing a function, it is an organ. And what system is it part of? Digestive. This organ is the heart, which is part of what system? Cardiovascular. And what is the function of this organ? The function of the heart is to pump blood throughout the body. What organ and what system? So this is the skin and it's part of the integumentary system. What are some functions? Protection because it creates a barrier between us and the outside world. It also helps us regulate our temperature because we sweat onto our skin. And when we're exposed to sunlight, what do we do? Synthesize vitamin D. Organ system function. So it's the brain, it is part of the nervous system, and the function is communication and control. What is this organ, this organ, this, and that. So this is the esophagus, stomach, liver, and gallbladder. And they are all part of what system? Digestive. So the job of the esophagus is just to take food from the mouth and bring it to the stomach. What is the job of the stomach? The stomach is breaking down, it is digesting your food both chemically and mechanically, meaning there are chemicals which are breaking chemical bonds to break the food into smaller pieces, and also the food is physically being smashed into smaller pieces just by your stomach grinding. The liver has a lot of functions. One of the functions is that it produces bile. Bile is a substance that is going to be put into, what is that organ? The small intestine and bile helps with the digestion of fat. What's the function of the gallbladder? The function of the gallbladder is to store bile that has been produced by the liver until it needs to go to the small intestine. So I just say the gallbladder is the purse of the liver. So we said this was part of the small intestine. What is this and what is that? So this is the pancreas, 
this is the spleen. So I just remember small intestine, pancreas, spleen are all in a line. So the pancreas has a significant function for two systems. What are they? Both the digestive system and the endocrine system. What is the general function of the endocrine system? The general function of the endocrine system is to release chemical messages into the blood. Um, so basically you release hormones into the blood, those hormones float throughout your bloodstream and they're going to bind to other organs and cause that organ to do something. This organ, which we said was the spleen, does not have a digestive function. What system is it a part of? So the spleen has an important immune system function because in the spleen, there's a population of white blood cells. Your blood is going to filter through your spleen, and those white blood cells are going to surveil and monitor for infection. All right, so this is part of what? This is part of what? So this is the rest of the small intestine. It's the small intestine because it's smaller in diameter, even though it's longer in length. This is the large intestine because it has a bigger diameter. We said the function of the stomach was to basically smash your food into little pieces. What is the job of your small intestine? Your small intestine continues breaking your food into smaller pieces, but it is also where your nutrients actually absorb into your body. What is the job of the large intestine? The large intestine sucks back water because you have to put a bunch of water into the system um, as you're breaking it down, and then the large intestine reabsorbs all that excess water so that you don't lose it. So when food is moving too fast through your large intestine, that's when you get diarrhea because the water did not have time to reabsorb. What is this organ and what is this tube attached to the organ? So this organ is the kidney. This tube here is the ureter. sitting on top of the kidney. That is the adrenal gland. What organ system is it a part of? It is another endocrine gland because it's gonna what? Release hormones into the bloodstream. The kidney and ureter are both part of the urinary system. This organ is the liver once again. What three things are we seeing here? Small intestine, pancreas, spleen. What system is the spleen a part of again? Immune system. We're looking at a head that's been cut open and now we're looking at the medial part of it. What is the tube here that goes from the back of your nose to there? That is the pharynx. So you know the part that's behind your mouth, we would call that your throat. The pharynx divides into two more tubes. The one in the front, the one in the back. The one in the front is the larynx, which will be for air. The one in the back is the esophagus, which is for food. 
What gland is this? That is the thyroid gland. What is this tube here? That is the trachea. So the voice box that we just talked about was the larynx. Air from the larynx moves into the trachea. This is the, once again, stomach. What are we seeing here? So that is the spinal cord, which is part of the nervous system. What organ is this? What system is it part of? And what is the general function of that system? So it is the lung, which is part of the respiratory system, and the general function of the system is to exchange gas with the bloodstream. So it lets oxygen in, takes carbon dioxide out. What are those green tubes and what are the little balls on the green tubes? And what is the function? So those are lymphatic vessels. The little balls are lymph nodes and the lymphatic vessels are returning excess fluid from your tissues. So your bloodstream, your capillary beds are leaking excess fluid into your tissues. Your lymphatic vessels are collecting that fluid and delivering it back to your bloodstream. The lymph nodes have an immune system function because in those lymph nodes you have a little population of immune system cells that will be monitoring the fluid from the lymphatic vessels to make sure there's no infection that's about to enter your bloodstream. That's all the questions I have on that for today, but please, anything that you learned in this video that you want to retain, you need to write it down or you're going to forget. That is just how the human brain works. If you don't write it down, then tomorrow you're just going to have this vague sense of like, oh god, she said something that I thought I should know, but I don't remember what. Um, so write down anything you want to retain and remember anything you learn today, if you don't review it tomorrow, you're going to lose most of it. You've pretty much just wasted your time. All right. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day and have fun learning.